What's up everybody? Happy New Year. It is day two of 2020. Um, I'm creating my own vlog today. Why am I doing that? Uh, for a couple reasons. The first is, for those of you who don't know, I'm going to Los Angeles, uh, California on January 18th. And I'll be out there for the next five months, um, which is a big change coming from Massachusetts on the East Coast. Um, so while I'm out there, I want to keep sort of a record of what I end up doing, um, keeping my friends, family, and whoever else that finds this entertaining in the loop. So why am I making a vlog? A couple reasons. The first, I really want to touch up on how I perform on camera. I just think I've always been kind of awkward in front of the lens and always found myself enjoying it more when I'm the one working the camera. So hopefully I improve upon that because even as I talk right now to the camera alone on this beach, it does feel pretty weird, but I think I'll uh, get used to that. The second reason why I'm making a vlog, I hope to keep you, friends, family, and whoever finds this entertaining, up to date on what I'm up to for the next five months because I know I won't be seeing a lot of you during that time. Shout out to the friends that are already booking flights. You guys are awesome. And shout out to the friends and family who have encouraged me to do these vlogs because it is a little hard to start and I'm always a little self-conscious about what I put out there. And I'm such a perfectionist with what I record that I just find myself scrapping a lot of my projects or just not releasing them to the public because I don't feel as though it's my best work. So regardless of how this comes out, I think I'm just gonna drop this um, and we'll see how it goes. I'm really looking forward to it and I hope you are too. So today is gonna serve more as an experiment. Um, this is my first time using this camera setup for vlogging. I'm using my Canon EOS M50 with a wide angle 10 to 18 millimeter lens from Canon. I'm also using my Rode mic to capture audio. So I'm just gonna be really experimenting to see what uh, gear, uh, tactics, locations are just gonna serve for the best content um, that I can. Right away, I can already tell you that this camera strap has got to go. It's been dangling around and getting tied up in the tripod and it's just not gonna work. So that was really useful for photography, which is uh, primarily what I was using this camera for. If you haven't seen any of the photos that I've taken recently with this, check them out on my C. Murray Cinema account on Instagram. Um, that's where my artsier stuff, for lack of a better word, likes to go. I just think that there's a separate place for my friends and family and then my artsy shots that I edit and add effects to. I just, I just think there needs to be two separate homes for those on Instagram. Um, this is a pretty cool view. I think I'm gonna give you guys a time lapse. Yeah, let's go to that. I think my number one goal on here is gonna be to be as kind of vulnerable as possible. Uh, I really wanna give a true insight as to what my life is gonna be like for the next five months uh, in a new city where I really don't know anybody. Um, I know a couple kids, not very well from my program through school, um, but it's gonna be a really different experience and one that I'm not gonna share with anyone who I'm very close with. So that being said, it's gonna be a lot of networking um, hopefully I make some really cool friends out there, um, good professional connections, things that'll make me want to come back after school. I still don't know where I want to end up. I'm a junior this year, so this will be my second semester as a junior, graduating the, the year after that. Um, and right now I don't really have a set plan, so it's going to be interesting. Bear with me. Something I'm picking up very quick uh, as I'm starting to do these vlogs is that you're going to have to become very good at doing things with one hand uh, as the other hand obviously is holding up the camera. So closing my door, for example, trunks in my car, random things. Those were terrible examples, but you get the gist of what I'm saying. Also, I'm in the downtown area, the town that I live in, and everybody is watching me as I talk into this camera. So whatever, it'll look cool. They're just gonna be a part of it. And one, two, three, time lapse. All right, time to get a quick workout in before lunch. Uh, I'm gonna take my jacket off and leave it in my car because I don't trust the gym lockers. 
I should probably get like a lock soon, but that's something I'll do another day. Let's get after it. Not bad. I was in there for about an hour and a half. Uh, I worked on abs, chest, did cardio, and I finished up with a nice sauna run. I love the sauna in there. It's really nice, um, well kept. Dry heat, it feels really good on the muscles after you work them. Uh, so now, let's grab something to eat. What time is it? 2.30, and I'm about to eat my first meal of the day. One thing I really hope that changes up when I move to Los Angeles is how early the sun sets. Like I just said, it's about 2.30 and I don't know if you can see that all that well, but the sun's setting pretty soon. Give it like an hour and a half, maybe two hours. 3.34 is usually when uh, the darkness seems to roll in around here. Kind of sucks. Um, so yeah, let's go to Chipotle. You got the carne asada? Yep. Sweet, I'll definitely take that. Carne asada. You wanna add pizza to it? I'm all set, thanks. Can you tell us it? Oh, I'll take the mild. Okay, thanks. Alright. 99. There you go. Thank you. So we did a little bit of time traveling. Now uh, I'm at my dad's house. It's a little bit before dinner time. Uh, since you last saw me, I showered, packed some stuff, and jumped in the car with my brother Andrew. So that was about an hour drive. I got lost on the way here, which I never do, but I guess the traffic was bad. I just got distracted, so weird. This is my basement. Um, I think I already said it, but it's a little before dinner, so I'm gonna get ready for that, and we'll pick things up soon. Say hey to the vlog. You're not gonna say hey to the fans? Eh? Say hey to the fans. I'm working here. What did you say? Dinner was delicious. I love lobster. That's like my favorite meal. Uh, two backpacks. One that I'm carrying. My camera bag. I think maybe I'll do a whole... Uh, don't throw your camera bag around like I do. Uh, I think I'll do a whole video, maybe one day, upcoming on what is actually in my camera bag. I got a pretty big bundle in there from uh, Amazon. A whole bunch of gear. A couple lenses. Um, Really good stuff for a great price. If you're still watching, thank you. The question now remains, what has one day of vlogging taught me? Well, the first thing is be prepared. The tripod that I have right now didn't really work the best for this. I think I'm gonna get the bendy tripod. Um, it's just a really sturdy, mobile, also like a handheld tripod. It's an all-in-one, basically. So I think that'll really, uh, allow for more stabilized shots just because the shots that weren't stabilized it was just inconvenient to stabilize them in this so that was one thing two uh time flies during this vlog i mean i i probably had i think i had about 14 gigabytes of footage um which is about i don't know say a half hour 
Um, and I mean, I trimmed this video down to, I think you're on the 11th minute now, by the time I edit this in. Um, so that was one thing. I just totally threw in a bunch of nonsense and talked when I didn't need to talk. Um, other than that, I'm just really excited to get this whole vlogging series off the ground. My next one is going to be my departure on January 18th from Boston to Los Angeles. So stay tuned for that. And that is a vlog. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.